Hey everyone, welcome to Mia Seeks Truth. Today I have um, a very serious um, topic that I want to discuss about this controversial church called Sin Young Ji, which is um, basically taking over the world and it is something that really needs to be discussed right here and now. Please make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification button because I'm about to tell you my testimony with this cult. All right, so you heard me say that this Sing Jung Ji, I don't even know how to pronounce it, whatever the name is, I'll um, put the name in the description as well. But um, this is a really, really big movement, I'm gonna say. It's supposedly this church in um, South Korea, and they are really heavy on recruiting members. I wish my mouse would work here. Um, they are heavy on recruiting members. I'm going to give a little bit of a background of this church and how they also approached me because this is really serious. Um, I think that they need to be exposed because they are leading people to hell. So this is very, 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 very serious. So I need you to definitely share this video, um, get it to around as many people as possible. So this, the chairman of this whole thing, this whole cult, it's a cult, okay? I'm gonna get into that in a second. But it's by this man, Lee Man He, I don't know. Um, and basically the members from doing a lot of research he creates a lot of these like teachings and powerpoints on the bible because supposedly he's like the only one that can interpret the bible which that makes no sense but um all of his teachings are being pushed among his members members and basically um they are to follow exactly what he says and his teachings and um they're only taught what he teaches so members are not really reading the bibles for themselves it's basically him picking different things that he wants to choose to talk about from the bible usually it's the book of revelation but i'm gonna tell you what actually happened to me i wasn't even i didn't join um but i sat on on a few bible studies which i will share um but anyway i just want to read what's on the website which is a little frightening on how he kind of like began his life of faith but it says that he was praying when a large star that he had frequently seen before and came to him from the sky and he saw the star for three days starting from that time those around him started to persecute him for no reason soon after he met a person from heaven he wrote a pledge of his devotion to god in blood and since then endured through countless hardships he saw the corruption of the pastors as he carried out his life of faith but he also saw and heard the congregation's loyal efforts and prayers what what no really what i'm confused like who what what like what are you trying to say here first of all you saw a large star that's a red flag to me and then you're making a devotion to god in blood with blood when do we ever have to um make a devotion to god with blood when when christians do you have to do this this is like really scary to me it sounds kind of i don't know like satanism that's what it sounds like to me because they use blood a lot but it's just weird um he says some other crazy stuff like he heard a voice from heaven um to go to the tabernacle temple and he went there in this name I can't pronounce, Gruchion, and served there. After that, he started with the spirit, which, yeah, which started with the spirit, become corrupt. He tried to correct this wrong. This is, it doesn't even make sense, to be honest. Anyway, he spent seven years in this new village movement, and the person from heaven came to him again and commanded him to send letters urging repentance to the tabernacle temple so anyway so long story short i'm gonna just cut to the chase because this is weird a lot of people who went deep into this cult mentioned that this guy claims to be like the messenger of christ like 
you have to go through him essentially to get the correct interpretation of the Bible. And also you have to go to this tabernacle church in order to get salvation. So this tabernacle church is this church of Sing Young Ji, whatever. You have to go through these teachings. You have to, um, whatever, just be part of their cult to get salvation, not biblical. We only go through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ only. We don't go through another man. So that's red flag number there's so many red flags but that's another red flag right there um so that's kind of like the background it's kind of choppy because it does it doesn't make sense like i don't understand how people well i'm explaining how but when you look at it this way and read the website you're like who would follow this dude because that made no sense so you saw a star you spoke to someone supposedly from heaven which honestly could have literally just been a demon which i'm pretty sure it was a demon spoke to him and he started this cult this was not from God at all. See, a lot of people be claiming that they hear from God and they really don't. So you really need to dig into your Bible and know the word. You have to know the word. You have to know God's word. Because if you don't, you will be sucked right into this foolishness. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is straight wicked. Um, so anyway, let me get to my testimony. Um, I got saved, right? And I was on fire for God. Um, God really saved me from a lot of things. And I'll have another video of my testimony on some demons that I was dealing with and all of that. But for now, I'm gonna just stick to this topic. But I just want to say that, um, I really wanted to have some christian friends so i went on this website called united young and the website i don't know if the website is well i won't say the website is necessarily bad itself because they actually address this cult not the name of this cult but it, it said on their website as a warning if anybody approaches you to do bible study it's a cult so the app even addressed it and but this was after i realized it was a cult so, and I went back on the website to, you know, go to um, deactivate my account because there was a lot of people on there approaching um, me for like Bible study and stuff. But anyway, so I go on there, I'm looking for, you know, just friends, just other female friends, um, not really for dating necessarily because a lot of those Christian dating sites, you know, th those people are not Christian on there. I'm going to just put that out there. They're not even Christian. But um, yeah, I just wanted to meet some friends, some females, you know, to fellowship, to do Bible study. I was not a part of a church at this time. Um, so I was doing that, or maybe I was, I started going to a church and I was doing some online meetups or something. I don't know. It was kind of like during the holidays. So I don't think a lot of groups started yet. I think that's what it was. I can't really remember but anyway this girl messaged me online and said hey do you want to do Bible study and I'm like okay you know that sounds you know that sounds okay that doesn't sound like a bad idea like you know I didn't think of anything of it at first and then she um we exchanged information like you know just to do the Bible study first it started off me and her doing zoom then she invited me to like one of the like a bigger Bible studies that she was teaching. And I noticed like in the beginning, um, they were studying the Gospels and they were really focusing on they're kind of all, all over the place, to be honest. They were focusing on the parables. So, you know, a lot of that seemed to be OK. Like it they were really reading straight from the Bible. I didn't see any um, false doctrines happening at this time. And again, I didn't I wasn't I didn't join. I didn't join this cult. So they approached me with Bible study. I went to a few of the classes and I think I did it for maybe a month, honestly, before they just really turned me off. And I was just like, no, this is not going to work. Um, but anyway, so I was um, attending and then all of a sudden the girl that messaged me she said oh there's this other group that you can join they do bible study they're going to start from the beginning of the series so i'm like okay bet let's do it but it it just it ran me the wrong way they had one girl teaching and then they switched off and had this other girl who was a straight 
all right, I won't say it, but she was strange. <laughs> I'll just put it this way. I was going to say something else. She was very strange. And I say that because the way she was talking, she was so robotic. Like, this is how she sound, no lie. It was like, Oh, so today, everybody, we will be studying the Bible. She she literally sounded like that. And it was kind of annoying. And the other girls didn't sound that way. So I'm like, okay, maybe it's just her. But some of the other girls, they kind of sounded like they were coached or rehearsed. But they just weren't as annoying as this girl. So that, like, kind of annoyed me, one. <laughs> Two, then it was like, she was the only one that was talking. We had to be, our cameras had to be on and all of us had to be muted. She was the only one to talk and she had um, this PowerPoint and she was reading from the slides. And they obviously weren't prepared by her. They were prepared by the cult leader that they had to read to um, recruit members or whatever. So at first it, I didn't like notice too much of anything in the beginning. Cause like I said, they were reading from the Bibles, from the gospel. So I was like, oh, I know these stories, cool. So. It wasn't interactive because you know how like Bible study, it's everybody joining in and like talking about their experiences, talking about what they just read, ask questions. It was none of that. Like everybody was dead silent. It's just cameras on. So I'm like, okay, maybe they just want it super structured, right? So, and, and mind you, I was doing this because I wanted to know God. Like I was hungry. So just keep this in mind. Like there's people that join this. They really are looking for God and they're hungry but they get deceived. So just in case some of you are wondering, well, how did you get sucked into that? This is how, because when they first start, they're really talking normal, like it's normal scriptures. They're, they're not deviating from the scriptures. So you're thinking like, oh, okay, we're literally reading stuff from the Bible. They're not teaching anything that's not sound doctrine. So, you know, that's how you get sucked in at first. But then it just started to rub me the wrong way. So then it was like, oh, we're starting to um, get into the course more rigorously and you can't miss a session. And if you do, then you, I don't know, basically you have to retake everything over. Like, first of all, I went to college already. I don't want to do college again. I don't even like school. So why, like, this is not even Bible college. So why are you making this so strict? This is Bible study, okay? Like, I never heard of a Bible study that makes you turn on your camera. And I get it for respect reasons. Like you don't want to be doing silly stuff, but like at the same time, what's wrong with people listening while most of these people were at work because the hours that it was, was, um, and I wasn't working at the time and it was nine to 11 AM. Most people are working. You mean to tell me that they got to really have their cameras on while you watching them work and doing stuff? Why can't they listen in? And then if they have questions, you know, just, it was, it was way too strict. I didn't like that either. So anyway, then they had like one-on-one -on -one meetings with the teachers and um, they did like a FaceTime call and they just wanted to know, oh, so what's your um, story? Like, what are you looking for? And I'm like, well, to know more about the Bible, it's called Bible study. So obviously I'm here to learn about the Bible. It was a stupid question. Anyway, so they have their little one-on-ones and then they're like, oh, well, this course is going to um, intensify be more strict we're gonna end up meeting three times a week you can't really you're only allowed to miss two days I'm like uh okay yeah so if you are sick or anything let us know and one time I did miss because I had to bring my daughter to an appointment and they were blowing up my phone like uh are you coming to the meeting I said like listen chill I'm at an appointment like it's not that serious to me it wasn't that serious but I guess it was serious to them so Anyway, let me speed this story up. <laughs> so then, um, where did it get weird? When they sent an email to everyone in the group asking for very personal information, the only thing that they didn't ask for was my social security. And I was like, yeah, might as well ask for that. First name, last name, where were you born? Are you a citizen? Um, where did you grow up? Where do you live now? Um, just, they wanted like your full address, the zip code, the state, like for Bible study. And I'm like, I ain't giving you that information because I don't know you. And then the girl that I met on the website, I told her about that. I said, I'm not giving them that information. She's like, oh no, but they give you gifts. I don't need gifts. I'm here to learn the word. I don't need your gifts. God give me gifts. I don't need your gifts. Why do you need that information? And I just joined this or I just started attending these meetings. Cause like I said, I didn't join. 
I just started attending these meetings like a few weeks ago and you asking me for my personal information. So when I sent it back, they already knew my first name because my first name is in my email, but I didn't send my email with my first and last name. I didn't use that email. I use that for jobs because obviously jobs will have my first and last name anyway, but I didn't use that email. I used like one that said my first name in there and everybody thinks my first name is a nickname anyway. So it doesn't matter. So whatever. All I sent was my first name. I sent it back. You know these people are gonna call me, hound me, and say, oh, I noticed that you didn't fill out this information. And I said, yeah, because I don't know you and I don't feel comfortable giving you my information. Mind you, we don't even have their information. You know what their email is? It's BibleStudy22 at Gmail. I think that's what it was. I don't know, something like that. And I'm just like, are you serious? Right now, I don't even know who you are and you want all this information from me. No. So she was like, well, I at least need to know your, why do you need to know my last name? Because there's another Mia in the group. No, there isn't. There is not another Mia in the group and no one spells uh, Mia, M-E-A, like I do. It's very few people. Most people spell it M-I-A, stop lying. She was definitely lying. So I gave her a fake last name, I sure did. And then she was like, well, hopefully I could get the other information when you feel comfortable. I said, you're not getting the other information <laughs> like why are you so pressed about getting my information red flag right so then um that really rubbed me the wrong way i started praying i was like god listen i really want to get to know you better i want to know your word i only attended these bible studies to learn your word and i thought it would be good to fellowship with other people but please let me know because i'm feeling some type of way right now please let me know what this is and if i should even continue so basically what happened i didn't continue um the holy spirit led me to just really dig into this i was up to like 4 or 5 a.m researching this church and found many when i'm saying many i mean many videos of them being a cult many 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 videos and i watched some people where like because they're isolated from their parents and stuff and like other family members friends and i watched it started in south korea so i watched a lot of documentaries in south korea and this is what i found a girl's parents had to go um to the cult how to go to the cult and pull her out get her and get her out because um they weren't seeing her like how scary is that they literally weren't seeing her so they had to um get her out but then after that she needed to go see a psychiatrist after um and the psychiatrist he was seeing so many cases from this church of people um coming out of the cult and then they needed they needed help because they were mentally manipulated and brainwashed and they needed to like come back to reality. So this psychiatrist then began to specialize in um, treating people that came from this cult. Like that's how many people were in the cult. So I was like, oh no, oh no, no, no. So I ended up, um, I missed Bible studies. They were texting me, they were emailing me and I said, I will no longer attend your Bible study. Blocked them right so that was that i didn't i heard from the girl who recruited me i told her listen the holy spirit told me not to go back to those bible studies and all she said was oh i understand if you ever want to talk just let me know but she wasn't she wasn't pushy it wasn't her that was pushy it was her i don't know maybe it was people over her or something because mind you she was brainwashed too but then i ended up um now recently one of um there's a few pastors that's been exposing them because they have been going to their church recruiting members, the audacity. But anyway, this cult is going to actual um, Holy Spirit led Christian churches to recruit members. And um, they were warning about it. So, you know, I sent the video that one of the pastors made on the cult and I sent it to the girl that introduced me to this whole thing. And then she's like, yeah, you know, there's a lot of things going around about it being a cult, but it's really not. This is what I'm talking about, about deception. The devil is not playing. He is looking for people to devour. And the Bible says that people will pull away from the faith and go start to follow um, false doctrines. 
and listen to these false prophets and that's exactly what this quote is a false prophet talking about basically that he's the messiah and that you have to go through him and his teachings because he's the only one that knows how to interpret the bible and you have to go to his church to receive salvation really because the bible clearly says that the only way to the father is through jesus christ the only way that you can go to heaven is through jesus christ so you mean to tell me you're christ that's a absolutely not this is what I'm saying. Like, you really need to be careful with these cults and stuff because people, people are gullible, but also too, like I said, it comes off innocent. And I've also had many times, many, many times, I'm shopping in grocery stores or like um, other types of stores. And these people are coming up to me, oh, about Bible study. Oh, um, I just want to talk to you about God. Did you know that God was a woman? Yeah, there's proof in the Bible because he made Eve and what? I didn't even know God was a gender, first of all. I didn't know, I didn't know. And then they're like, yeah, that's where Mother Earth came from and cause he's a woman. And I'm like, well, Mother Earth is man-made. <laughs> like, you really cannot be out here believing everything that people say. You need to dig into the word, dig into the word, dig into the word, okay? Jesus is the only way. This cult is really, really big and people are getting sucked into it. And I can see how, because in the, like I said in the beginning, they do start to talk about the gospels, but they don't really like go in order with stuff. They're kind of all over the place, but they do um, share some truth, but they mix it with a ton of lies. And once you mix a lie with the truth is automatically false doctrine. Cause why? God doesn't lie. God can't lie. The father of lies is Satan. Satan runs that, that Shanghai, Joan, whatever. I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't even know how to say it. It's a cult. I'll have the information in the description, but I needed to share this with you on how easy it is. Now, for me, I had the Holy Spirit and I had spiritual discernment, but there are people out there who may be lost, but are like seeking and they fall into this and they don't, they don't hear the Holy Spirit. Because then they end up joining this cult and getting suckered in. This is very dangerous. Very, 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 very dangerous. <coughs> and it will, <coughs> excuse me. And it will lead you to hell. Because it's, if it's not leading you to Christ, it's leading you to hell. And that's where this cult will take you. And there's, there's many, many, many other cults out there. I will share my testimony one other day about a cult that I was introduced to years ago. I will share that. Sorry, I have something in my throat. <clears throat> I will share that one day because it's easy to get suckered in, I'm telling you. But we need to pray for these people in all cults, but this one in, in particular that I'm talking about, it's really big. We need to expose them. We need to destroy um, Satan's kingdom by spreading the truth, shining the light on this because as Christians we are the lights of the world so that's what we need to do so I'm gonna end this in a prayer and pray for these people that are in this cult and being manipulated and brainwashed by this wicked man that clearly thinks he's a messiah or something like who are you sir who are you you n stop stop you you are led by Satan you need to stop this cult is wicked wicked and will lead you to the pit so anyway i stand for truth so i don't care i'm gonna give it to you straight i'm down for christ i'm christ ride or die i don't i don't play games like this this is not funny to me it's not cute and i my heart goes out to people that are in this cult right now being deceived because these wolves are out here attacking these sheep and devouring them so anyway i pray heavenly father I pray for these people that are in this cult, Lord God, or any other cults. I pray that you will speak to them, Lord, and that you will lead them to truth. You'll lead them to your son because your son is the only way, the truth and life, Lord God. And I just pray that you will open their eyes because they are so heavily deceived. I understand, Lord, that we are in the last days right now, but I just ask that you pour out your spirit, Lord God, so that people, uh, their eyes will be open so that they can see. Please remove the, the muck and the crud off their eyes so that they can see, they can see truth, Lord God, and only run after you. 
And I pray this prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I thank you guys for listening. Definitely share, share, share. This is so important that we get this video around because this cult is running rampant. People are literally stuck in this and highly deceived. But nothing is too big for God. God Almighty can help these people. We need more believers coming together in agreement to pray to pray that these people's eyes will be open so that they could get out of this wickedness and truly repent of their sins, of turning to essentially a false god. That Because this is what's happening. They're turning to a false god and worshiping a false god. So they need to be led to repentance and worship the true and living God. I hope this helped you. God bless you all. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you.